Hello, YMCA members, guests, and anyone pressing play today. My name is Colleen, and I'm an instructor at the Ron Rosner YMCA. I want to welcome you here. Welcome you here today. We have something new again today. Instead of just doing bar hit with 30 second intervals like we did last week, this time we're going to do bar Tabata, which is basically bar moves in a Tabata format. If you're not familiar with that, it is 10, 20 seconds of hard work and a 10 second break. And then 20 seconds, you do that eight times for each exercise. The way that's gonna work for us today is basically we're gonna do four on one leg and four on the other leg. And there's a little trick that we're gonna have you usually hold some sort of balance or some sort of, you know, basically, that 10 seconds, instead of just rest, you're gonna just hold. We'll see how it goes. If you do need the rest, please feel free to hit pause or take the full rest, that 10 seconds. I know it's not very long, but if you want to, if you need to, take that 10 seconds and rest rather than do the hold that we're doing. You find your challenge for your body. And again, as always, please get clearance from your medical professional before you get started with this or any other exercise, if you haven't been exercising before or if you have been injured recently. Okay, we are going to get started with our warm up and then we'll head into that Tabata. Okay, music's on. Find your space. Oh, as always, items that you need today something to balance. I have a chair here, but if you have a countertop or a wall or something you can hold on to when you need it, that'd be great. I have my water bottle if you can see it in the back and a small towel in case you get sweaty. Okay, here we are, we're gonna start. And my timer, we'll use that in a little bit. We're not gonna do that quite yet, we're just gonna start rolling our toes. And up. All I'm doing, it's like, if you've ever marked time before, that's essentially what you're doing. You're just rolling your foot up to the ball of your foot and down, keep going. Roll, you can move your arms a little. Roll, roll. Roll. Next is the squat. Here we go. Sink back and stand. Back and stand. Start warming up those legs. They're going to work hard today. Down and up. Just scooting back for the camera. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Add a lift to the side. So it's squat, lift, alternate this time. When we do this in our Tabata, we will not be alternating. And lift, down, lift. Knees and toes are facing forward through this whole part. Keep going. Four, three, two, Hold that down and walk those feet out. So you're in a nice wide squat. Come a little lower and then just halfway up. It's halfway, halfway. Engage your core, belly button is pulled to your spine. Four, three, two. Stand on up, right knee, 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 knee. Just lifting those knees. Lift with your core. You're not arching your back, just lifting straight up, just turning so you can see. Lift. Four, three, two, back to that squat. Down, and down, and. Walk those feet wide again, and side to side. Side to side. Two, hold that to your right, hold it here. You can support on your leg, reach it out, and down. Scoop that arm. Side to side, side, side. Hold it this way, arm out. You can support here if you like. It's down, and Scoop, scoop, keep that micro bend in the outside leg, 
the one that's straight, this one here. Scoop. It's bend and lift tall. The last one, keep your feet wide, but now walk them out. So you're in a plie position. Knee, toes are out to the side, knees are following. Tailbone sinks straight to the floor, not back. Down, up, down, up, down. Step your right foot in, so it's plie, step in, plie, other foot in, plie, in, there you go, plie, 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 hold this one out, hold it here, lower, halfway, halfway, good work, four, three, two, Hold it there, walk your feet toward your right. So you're picking up your feet, walking them around. Now watch, you're in a lunge. It's lunge back and lift, back. Lift that back heel. Lift, lower, lift. Four, three, two. Hold it back, now lower your knee in. So you lunge, stand, lunge. Lunge. Four. Three. Two. Hold it there. Feel that stretch right here in your hip flexor. Just a little dynamic stretch. Feel that. Up. Walk your feet back to the middle. We again. Lower. Lift. Lower. Walk those feet to your left this time. Walk them around. Bring them up off the floor when you make that turn. Now we're lifting up. Lift that back heel. Back heel. Lift. Lift. Keep going. Lift. 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 Hold it down. Now lower your knee. Bend the knee into a lunge. Lunge. And stand. Lunge. Lunge. Four. Three. Two. Last one, come on up, shake all that out, roll your shoulders a little bit. We're about to get started with our first Tabata. The whole thing lasts four minutes. You can do it for four minutes and then you get a break while I explain the next one. We will start with one of the moves we just did in the warm up. It's squat down low, lift your leg out to the side. We're gonna start with your right leg moving. If you need something to balance on, you wanna have it on your left side to get started. Okay, here we go with the beat. To the side, squat and side lift. Squat, side lift. Add arms as needed, or like I said, you can hold on. Knees and toes all facing forward, down. Lift. When we get to the 10 seconds on the beat, hold that lift. Okay, hold. This is where you might want to have a little balance or not, you decide. Hold that lift. Then we're gonna lift this leg to the side when it beeps again. Here we go. Lift. You can always tap down if you need to. Or have hold the balance the whole time. Or hold on, you decide. When we hear the beep, we're gonna go back to that squat and hold the squat. Keep going. Almost there. There it is. Squat. Hold your squat. Engage your core to support your lower back. Hold that. We're going back to the squat side. Lift same leg. There we go. It's down. Lift. You can hold on or your arms are off. You decide. You can go a little faster. Bring that heart rate up a little bit. You decide. Hold it up on the lift. On the beat, I mean. Hold it here, hold. When the beat comes again, little tiny lifts. Try not to touch this leg down to the ground. Here we go, lift, 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 lift. After this one, you got 10 seconds to rest and move your balance item, or your chair, or turn directions. Almost there. Okay, this is your little break. That was one leg. 
Now we're going to the other side. We'll start with the squat side lift. Here we go. Squat, side lift. Knees and toes all facing forward. You can hold on the whole time. Or add arms, you decide. Good work, core is engaged. It'll help you balance and support your back when you squat. We're holding that lift on the beep, hold. Hold, find your balance challenge. If you don't challenge it, it'll never get better. Lifting your leg to the side on the beep, lift. Lifts. You feel that, you would think you feel it mostly in the moving leg. It's the supporting leg that's working. It's what's holding all your weight. Core is nice and strong. Hold the squat on the beep. Hold your squat. Down in your squat. Core strong. Shoulders down and back. Find the bottom of that. Back to squat. Lift. Squat. Lift. Squat. Lift. Or hold on. Whichever works better for you. Both legs engaged in that squat. Hold it out to the side again. Hold. Find that balance. One more. You're almost there. Little lifts out to the side. On the beat. Here we go. Lift. Lift. Little lifts. Really engage this hip. This is your on this side. Don't sink into it. Feel tall. Really tall. Almost there. Keep going. Great job. This will beep again in 10 seconds. This is just take a little breather. Get some water if you need it. I'm gonna move this over to the side. Okay, our next one. We're gonna start, just watch right now. This is still your recovery. We're going to take skaters. It's basically you're stepping side to side. You're supporting knees and toes or forward on this until you, except when your foot's behind. When we hear the first beep, you're gonna hold. If you have any knee issues, just hold a regular lunge. If it doesn't bother your knees, you're in a curtsy lunge. Okay, you can finish closer to here. You're actually gonna take your right leg back when we start. Then we'll do some work on the curtsy lunge. And again, four main exercises, and then we switch legs. Everybody ready? Well, we're gonna get started. If you need longer to rest, you hit pause. Okay, skaters on the beat. Here we go. Again, you can keep it low impact right here. If you're on your bare feet and you don't want any more than that, that's fine. Or you can jump it, you decide. Find your challenge. On the beat, we're gonna hold the curtsy lunge. Keep it going. Okay, take your right leg back. You're in that curtsy lunge. You're just holding right now. Your weight is right in the middle of both legs. Hold. Now, little lifts. It's down, halfway. Down, halfway. Breathe. Woo. We're going to hold the curtsy again on the beep. And then we're going to move your back foot in on the last one. I'm going to turn sideways here so you can see a little better. Hold. Okay, you're in your curtsy lunge. You feel free to have the support. Use your support on this one. Okay, now you're gonna just bring your back foot in, back to the curtsy lunge. Back foot in, back to curtsy. This is not about momentum. Use those muscles. Curtsy, in. Curtsy, in. Both legs move. That front leg is bent the whole time if you can. If you're getting fatigued, you can stand up. Hold that curtsy. Hold, and then it's a pulse on the next beat. Just little lifts. Think about lifting out of your knees. You're lifting out of your knees and hips. Lift, think tall. After this, you get 10 seconds and we're switching sides. Keep it going. Three, two, one. Switch sides with your chair if you have one. Okay, back to those skaters on the beat. 
There we go. Okay. Keep it low. You can move quickly even in the low impact or make it the full jump. Jump, leap back and forth. Find your challenge. Good work. Now hold that curtsy. I'm turning sideways just so you can see. Back's nice and tall. Core is engaged. Both knees are bent. Weight's in the middle. Halfway up. All the way down. Halfway. All the way. Halfway. No momentum in this. Use those muscles. Good work. We're going to hold it again after this. Hold, just 10 seconds. I know, legs are getting fatigued. You can take a break here if you need it. Then we're gonna move that back foot in on the beat. Back foot comes in, weight comes to the front leg. Front leg. I'm keeping that front knee bent, but if you need, are getting fatigued, you can stand there. You're still working, it's just slightly easier. Good work. Hold, find that center again with your weight. Excellent. Last one is little lifts, little lifts, little. Good work. Almost there. The break's coming up soon. Keep going. And up. Uh, you got a little bit of a break. Moving this to the side, other side. We're just switching back and forth on those legs. Breathe, get some water if you need it. Next, again, you have options. This one's gonna be based on plies though. And by that I mean toes are turned out. Knees fall over the toes, they come out. The last two, or at least the, we have the knees forward, but this time knees out of your toes. Don't let your arches collapse. That's like this. Mm -mm. That's what I mean by it. Keep your knees back, arches lifted. The first thing we're gonna do is just plie, step in, plie, step in. One leg, plie, step in. Stay on the right side, okay? If you want a little more than that, You'll be using both legs and jumping, or jump high. Okay, you decide. That one's entirely up to you. You got 20 seconds, then we'll hold the plie for the 10 seconds, and then it's plie, knee up. Okay, and then we'll go on from there. That's enough directions and enough rest. You ready? Start in that plie, find that position. You can always come back here, and there's always your balance if you need it. Okay, come on down. And on the beep we go. It's down, in. Use your arms if you'd like. Right leg's the one moving. Left leg is staying still. Keep it going. Hold that plie down. Just hold it for 10 seconds. Check your form again. You would have, if you were right against a wall, you would have contact points all down the wall. Okay, here it's knee up. So it's plie, knee, plie, knee. You can use your balance item or not. Feel that glute in the back? It should be working. Hold up here. Challenge your balance, it's only 10 seconds. We're going back to the plie, plie step or plie jump. You decide, you're here or here, or here. Great work, use those legs. Hold, hold. Now we're gonna do the next one, come with me. It's plie, knee, extend. Plie, knee, extend. Use your balance or not, plie, 
knee, stand in, plie, knee, Woo. stand in, plie, we're all human. And you have 10 seconds. Switch your chair. Good work. Okay, this time your left leg's moving. Start in that plie. Plie, step. There you go. Or make it the jump, you decide. Here, with your arms low. Or high. Or just step, you decide. Okay, hold that plie. Next is plie, this knee up. You're coming in towards your chair. Use the balance on the first one or two, and then see if you can do it that. So it's plie, knee, plie, knee. Great job. Good work. We're gonna hold the knee up after this. Hold the knee. Find that balance if you can. Yeah, fight for it. Core strong. You got it. Back to the plie step. In or jump. You decide. Or you can be here, just arms up. Or add that jump. And no, it's not just a jumping jack. Find the plie and the top. Plie and top. Even when you're going faster. Catch those two spots. Good job, hold that plie. Then we're gonna add plie, knee, extend, knee. Get ready, last one. Plie, knee, extend, knee. Plie, knee, extend, knee. Keep going, plie. Almost there. Control it. And you're done. Breathe, 10 seconds. Okay, get some water if you need it. Even I'm getting some this time. We've got two more Tabatas. This one is all about control. We're gonna, I want you to have your um, balance your chair to hold on to. You're probably gonna want it at some point on this one. I'm gonna turn sideways just so you can see, but you want your balance item beside you. It's gonna be lunge back, full lunge here, both knees are bent, and then you're gonna come up to an airplane balance. It's lunge and airplane. It does not matter how high that back leg comes. You just need to have your back in a straight line. If you're here, that's fine. If you're here, that's fine. Or if you're here, that's fine. It just needs to be in a straight line, okay? Then we'll hold it, we'll do some things from there. But it's all on your right leg in the back the first time. Have your balance nearby. You can always let go of it. If you've got your balance, great. If not, you're still working on it, it's there to help you. Here we go with the beep. It's lunge. Actually, go ahead and find that lunge to start. Find that lunge. Here we go. It's up into your airplane. Back to that lunge. Up to airplane. Back to lunge. Airplane. Good work. Hold here. Hold in your airplane position, wherever that is. Okay, when it beeps again, little glue lifts in the back. Lift and lower, lift and lower. I'm not moving that back leg much, but everything's working. Core, leg, everything's nice and strong. Hold, hold it here for 10 more seconds, then we're going back to the lunge. There you go, lunge, airplane. Feel the glue on both sides, woo! Lunge, airplane. When we go slow, it's not always a, you might think slow means easy. 
That is not true at all. Hold that airplane again. 10 seconds here. And then a hamstring curl. Yeah, bump shake it too. Hamstring curl, just 20 more seconds. And then we'll switch legs. Hamstring curl. Hamstring, keep it going. Almost there. Listen for that beep. Switch sides. Woo. Okay, find a lunge. It's a lunge. Airplane, other leg. It feels different, doesn't it? Woo, there was some fatigue on this leg. Find that airplane. Hold it there. Whoops, I kind of missed that one, sorry. Hold. Hold. If you need a break on this one, glute lift. Instead of holding for that 10 seconds, I'll warn you on the next one. Just take a little break. Lift. Core is strong. Okay, if you need to, you can take a break. Otherwise, hold it. But you decide. We're going back to the lunge next. There we go. Lunge. Airplane. Lunge. Airplane. Keep it going. All about control. Know where your body is moving. On the beep, hold it up. Hamstring curls and you're done. Okay, hamstring curls. On the beep. Curl it in. 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 You're almost there. 10 more seconds. 10. You can do it. I was shaking too. Woo. Yep, save the best for last there. And yes, I'm dripping sweat too. Wipe that off. We have one more Tabata. We will be coming to your hands and knees. If your heart rate is high, go hip and hip pause here. Walk around a little bit. We will be hands and knees in plank, so your head will still be above your heart. But again, be safe, take a break if you need it. Okay, we are coming to the floor. You can move your chair out of the way. You don't need it anymore. Okay, this one I will show you first because if you're doing it correctly, you will not be looking at the camera. You're gonna be looking right in front of you at the floor. We are gonna start tabletop position. I'll just change the angle a little. Belly button pulled your spine. You're going to extend your right hand and your left leg, okay? So bird dog, you're gonna extend that hand out, your leg out, and then bring them towards each other under you and extend out again. Okay, you'll keep doing that. It's not about speed. I want you to focus on the extension. After that, you just get 10 seconds to rest on this one. You don't have to hold. Then the next one, you're just gonna curl your toes over. You're still in tabletop position and bring your knees one inch off the ground and just hold. Then we're gonna do bird dog on the opposite side. And then the very last one, you're gonna bring your knees off the ground that one inch and then twist side to side. Keeping that nice straight back, okay? Then we will repeat the entire thing. You got your rest in? You ready? This is our last one. Here we go. Bird dog, right hand, left leg. It's in and out. Keep everything nice and square. Good work. Take a break. You actually get to rest. Roll your wrist a little if you need to. Back to tabletop. 
Curl your toes and lift your knees and hold. Hold those knees up. You got this. Just hold. Back is nice and straight. You are just a smidge off the ground. It looks easy, I know, but if you're doing this with me, you know it's not. And down. Again, roll those wrists a little bit. If you do have any wrist issues, um, you can just do an elbow plank instead for that hold. There we go, bird dog. Left arm, right leg, in and out. In and out, keep going. Think about that extension. You wanna see how far away you can get your foot and your hand. And rest. This time it's the twist. Get ready. Curl, Charles, toes, toes curled under, if I could speak, hold. And now add that twist. Your feet have to slide a little bit. You can step them, depending on the surface that you're on, or you can just slide them. Elbows stay straight. And come on down. Again, bird dog, right hand. And left leg, extend them out, get ready. And in, in. Good work. You're almost there, the music got soft, so now you can hear me breathing. Yes, we may be on the floor, but it's still hard work. Okay, curl those toes under, shoulders down and back. This time we're just holding that tabletop position, knees off the ground. Really, they're just like an inch off the ground, but you will really feel your core engage. Keep breathing. You're almost there. And you're done with that one. Bird dog on the other side. Left hand, right leg. Extend them out, just hold it. And go. Everything stays nice and square. Really focus on that oppositional movement. Keep going. Last one. And yes, I'm dripping sweat. You probably are too. Okay, bring the knees up and twist. Very last thing. We are stretching after this. Really concentrate on your obliques. Almost there. And come on down. Great job. Just breathe. Stretch that and transpose. Ignore all my beeps. They're all done now. And come on up. Back to that tabletop where we just were. Little cat cow. Curl your spine up towards the ceiling. And release and open your chest. And curl up. Release and open your chest. Come back to that neutral spine. Bring your hands up off the floor. Take one leg, lean it forward, or step it forward. Then lean into it. If you're wondering, I do have a fan in my basement, but if I turn it on, it's the only thing you hear. So, <laughs> feel that nice long stretch. Keep releasing and relaxing the muscle. And come on up. Fold forward over that front leg. Support on the floor. Nice deep breaths. You guys did a great job. Just a nice, quick little stretch here at the end. And up. 
switch sides. Other leg. You can hold on to something if you need to. And come forward. Keep easing into that stretch. Really feel that hip flexor stretching out. Good job. Push back. Extend that front leg. Hold forward. And come on up. Go ahead and stand on up. If your legs can still do it, <laughs> they should be able to. Go ahead, just side to side, nice and slowly. Stretch that inner thigh a little. Hold to your right. Hold. Support here, come down low. Keep a micro bend in this leg, get that inner thigh. And up, back and forth again. Hold to the left. Support here, come a little lower. Feel that stretch. Keep a micro bend in the knee. And come on up, inhale up. Good work, down. Bring those hands back behind you. Interlace your fingertips. Open up your chest. I'll just turn so you can see. Open up that chest. Release. Arms in front. Grab your elbows. You can look down. Relax your neck. Open up the space between your shoulder blades. Release that. Bring one arm across. Stretch your shoulder. other side. Release. One last thing. We want figure four. Bring one leg across. You can hold on to your chair. Sit back. Stretch those glutes a little and flex this top foot. Flex and point. Flex and point. Flex. And switch sides. You can switch your chair if you like. Bring that foot across. Sit back in a figure four. And flex and point. And flex and point. Last one. Come on up. Big inhale in. And exhale. Great job, everybody. I'm so proud of you for sticking through this with me. It's a great way. You don't even have to jump. Tabata does not mean jump. <laughs> and you still get super sweaty. And a good workout for all your muscles. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.